Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, April 27, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. A demonic murder. Professors against the Constitution. A Tucker Carlson update and a Medal of Honor recipient. That's all coming up, and then Bill will be here with your message of the day. Maybe you've heard the story of the Uber Eats driver who was murdered, a 59-year-old husband and father. He was delivering food to someone, and it was the final delivery for the night. Well, now we know a bit more. The sheriff said, you always hear the word evil, but this is demonic. The Uber Eats driver knocked on the door. The man opened it, pulled the driver in, killed him, dismembered him, put him in trash bags for no reason at all. Turns out the person is an MS-13 gang member, tattoos all over his face. He was released from prison on parole in January in Indiana and moved to Florida without registering as a convicted felon. His criminal history includes stabbing a fellow prison inmate multiple times, aggravated battery, and it goes on and on. But Indiana felt he was a great fit for going back into society. North Carolina is debating a bill that would require all college students in order to graduate to take an American history course. The course includes reading the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Emancipation Proclamation, at least five essays from the Federalist Papers, letter from a Birmingham jail, and the Gettysburg Address. Sounds fine. <laughs> Sounds very like, common sense. But 672 professors from UNC Chapel Hill said that this is an attack on their freedom of speech. Yes, how dare you tell us to teach the Constitution? But professor, how does anyone know what freedom of speech even means if you're not teaching them the Constitution. Tucker Carlson update. He was spotted in Florida, inconsolable of being fired from Fox News. Now, he was on a golf cart with his wife flying down the path laughing. <laughs> he was asked about his future plans, spotted at dinner. He said it includes appetizers plus an entree. So he's splurging. He says, I haven't eaten dinner with my wife on a weeknight in seven years. Retirement is going great so far. In his first video message, he said, the iron law of the universe is true things prevail. See you soon. In 1951, the U.S. Army awarded the Medal of Honor to Luther H. Story. He died in battle, but they awarded the medal to his father. The Americans were surrounded by the North Koreans. Story saw an enemy truck approaching, so he ran in the middle of the road, started throwing grenades at the truck so that his men could escape. Why am I telling you this story now? Well, 73 years after he was killed, Story's remains have been identified and brought home. Let's welcome home Medal of Honor recipient, Luther Story. Bill is here with your message of the day. Next. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped 20%, and this year could be worse. You are right to be worried. So please call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I have been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text G-O-L-D GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, President Biden's announcement this week that he'll run again is simply preposterous. If he secures another term, he'd be 86 when he leaves office. What's next? 97-year-old Dick Van Dyke for vice president? According to the polls, the vast majority of Americans understand Mr. Biden is not a competent president. Yet, if Donald Trump is his opponent, the race will be close. Trump hatred remains intense among many Americans. The Democratic Party should be looking for an alternative for old Joe. And I want to help them out because that's the kind of guy I am. So here are some suggestions. Rosie O'Donnell. She checks all the LG boxes and never met a progressive policy she didn't embrace. Her pal Madonna might be FBI chief. George Clooney. While he's preoccupied now with selling tequila, 
He's capable of articulating liberal positions and remains a true believer. Brad Pitt would be Secretary of State. Morning Joe. He used to be a Republican, but converted to the woke religion after NBC offered him money. Mika might be appointed to a new position, Secretary of Shopping. And finally, Rachel Maddow, another box checker. She absolutely could mount a serious challenge to Biden and eye roll him to death in a debate. Campaign slogan, take a left and keep going left until the debt collapses the country. That would be an excellent field, would it not? I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. All right, let's go to the mail. Mike, uh, what I find most offensive about Biden's performance is that he thinks he's doing a real bang-up job and that he deserves another term. He's obviously living in a fantasy land, divorced from reality. Yeah, that's where he lives, in that land. James, concierge remember, James gets direct access to me. We hope you check that program out. If Biden is as bad as you say, O'Reilly, how can Obama be so revered by you, Biden's extension of Obama? No, he's not. I mean, Obama was against gay marriage in the beginning. I mean, Obama's a much more traditional and revered. Come on. <laughs> I covered Obama in a fair way. I like him personally because he's very nice to my children. Uh, Lena, the news is no longer about journalistic integrity. It's about corporations and money. Absolutely. But not this agency. Kevin Gillespie, Sampsonville, Kentucky. I watch the No Spin News, excellent as always. I have been a Tucker follower. The one thing about Tucker is that he's extremely smart, and I learned something every time I watched it. Regarding Ray Epps, the confusing part is that everybody was thrown into prison but him. Now, um, there were 2,000 people approximately inside the state capitol. About 900 of them have been prosecuted most on low-level trespassing stuff. There are people being held by judges for various reasons, um, denied bail. Anyway, the Epps thing, you're never going to get to the bottom of it unless Epps sues Fox News and Tucker Carlson. It can be depositions. Okay? It looks to me like Epps setting himself up because of his appearance on 60 Minutes to do that. In a moment, something you might not know. This is an important notice to all U.S. taxpayers. The IRS is giving away billions of dollars in tax savings through a federal program called the Fresh Start Initiative to aid delinquent taxpayers. This initiative was established for anyone facing financial hardship and unable to pay their back taxes. Qualifying and enrolling in this program will stop all collections, settle your delinquent tax problem, and even reduce what you owe by thousands of dollars. Call the hotline at People's Tax Relief to see if you qualify and get this free information by dialing 800-472-0319. If you have unfiled tax returns or cannot afford to pay your personal or business back taxes, you can now get the help you need. One simple phone call can resolve your tax problem and save you thousands of dollars. To see if you qualify and to get this important free information, call 800-472-0319. 800-472-0319. 800-472-0319. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 162 years ago today, President Abraham Lincoln suspended the writ of habeas corpus. For the first time in history, American soldiers could arrest and detain U.S. citizens without due process. Here is the story. The concept of habeas corpus dates back to the 12th century. In Latin, it means show me the body. The law demands any person charged with a crime must appear before a court within a reasonable period of time. Article 1, Section 9 of the Constitution states, quote, The privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless in cases of rebellion. Well, the Civil War was certainly a rebellion, and two weeks after it started, Many in Washington feared other states would leave the Union. 
So on April 27, 1861, President Lincoln suspended the doctrine. Under his order, Union soldiers could detain individuals considered a threat to the military or to civilians. Those arrested were held without indictment or arraignment. The decision was immediately challenged. The Supreme Court ruled the commander-in-chief did not have the authority to hold Americans indefinitely, even rebels. Lincoln, however, remained defiant. In a speech to Congress on July 4th, Abe said, quote, It is my duty to suspend the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus, or in other words, to arrest and detain without resort to the ordinary processes and forms of law, unquote. Now, constitutional scholars debate the issue to this day. Even Lincoln himself was unsure about the legality of his actions. And here's something else you might not know. Abraham Lincoln was not the only president to suspend habeas corpus. Other examples include Ulysses Grant and his crackdown on the Ku Klux Klan, Franklin Roosevelt's forced internment of Japanese Americans during the Second World War, and George W. Bush's detention of Al-Qaeda suspects after the September 11th attacks in Guantanamo Bay. Back after this. Ad paid for by the Sentinel Group. Attention veterans, active duty military, civilians, and contractors. If you were issued earplugs between 1999 and 2015 and were diagnosed with hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be entitled to compensation. The manufacturer of these military earplugs recently paid $9.1 million to resolve claims that their earplugs were defective potentially exposing service members to damaging sound levels that could have resulted in hearing loss or tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued earplugs and were diagnosed with tinnitus or hearing loss, don't wait. You fought for this country, and our attorneys want to fight for you. Call 800-687-1936 now for a free legal consultation and to see if you may be eligible to file a claim. Time restrictions may apply, and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. So call 800-687-1936 now. Again, 800-687-1936. That's 800-687-1936. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.